Top story this morning. It's been closed since a fire mid July, tearing through this area for the second time in one year. Later today, Rhode Island recycled metals could reopen depending on what a judge decides. At a public meeting last night, the attorney for the facility said he's cautiously optimistic they'll be back in business today. Erica Ritchie is live in studio this morning, and Erica was a heated meeting last night. Sure was, Kate. Emotions were high, tensions flared at what was just supposed to be a standard meeting as part of an ongoing DEM permit process. But the residents who came out, well, they had questions and they did not feel that they got the answers they were looking for. I think he talked at us right over us. You know, I think that he was talking like a lawyer and you know, he listened, but it wasn't. I don't think it was fair. You know, there wasn't enough of a dialogue and exchange. The attorney for Rhode Island Recycled Metals led last night's meeting. He told us it is required by law to inform the public of the results of the environmental assessment the company had to do to be properly permitted through DEM. But nearby residents, well, they were only concerned about this, what you see on your screen here, the impact of two fires in April and July and what it might have had on the water and the air quality in their neighborhood. So much of last night's back and forth centered around that conversation. But the attorney kept pointing to environmental test results to ensure that re the residents that the site is safe. It basically shows that this site poses no risk to the community. It says in the report. All right, he also told us after the meeting that Rhode Island Recycled Metals has taken strides to enhancing their safety plan. They will be in court this afternoon to see if that satisfies the judge enough to let them reopen. Live in studio this morning, I'm Erica Ritchie, 12 News.